All right, this is my lab assistant, Harper Kate Lander. She was also in the sheep brain dissection. <laughs> She's gonna um, help us out with the sheep heart dissection. So this is the anterior or front side of the heart. You can see that there's some adipose tissue. Uh, this big area here is the left ventricle. This area here is the right ventricle. And then you have the atria, they're kind of stuffed up here. This little area right here is called the auricle. And it's Greek or Latin root, that means ear. And then you have some of the great vessels coming off the top, such as the aorta and the pulmonary trunk. But inside this adipose tissue, you have your coronary arteries. And those are the arteries when they're blocked, they cause a myocardial infarction, an MI or heart attack. So the right coronary artery goes this way. The left coronary artery comes off the aorta and goes this way. And it has a branch called the left anterior descending. That's called the Widowmaker because if you get a blockage in this art coronary artery, you're going to deprive oxygen to the left ventricle. And that's the one that pumps through the whole art, uh, body. That's the systemic circulation. And so go ahead and turn it over for us and we can see the posterior side of the heart. <laughs> the, the coronary arteries, the circumflex arteries come around and kind of uh, get, bring oxygen <laughs> and nutrients to that side of the, the heart. So let's go ahead and make a cut. So we'll cut a coronal section through the heart. Mm -hmm. The bovine hearts, the beef hearts, those are, you almost need a chainsaw for those. Those are some big ones. So what you can see when we get this cut is the, the size of the right ventricle versus the left ventricle. The, the left ventricle is much bigger because if you think about the circulation, the right ventricles just pump into the lungs, which are pretty close. Okay. The left ventricle is, is uh, taken to the whole body. Wow. <laughs> so here you can see, this is the left ventricle. You can see the myocardium, the cardiac muscle is really thick through here. Another thing you can see is the chordae tendinae. Those are the little cords that attach to the valves. So if this is the, this is the left, left ventricle here, so that's gonna be the mitral valve that it's attached to. There's the valve through there. And then the, the bicuspid valve, I mean, excuse me, the tricuspid valve <laughs> is over on the right side of the heart. Sometimes they call the mitral valve the bicuspid valve. But you can see that the left ventricle, the the muscle is so much thicker than the right. This is the right <coughs> ventricle over here. So the right ventricle is going to pump to the pulmonary trunk that goes to the lungs. The left ventricle is going to pump through the aorta and go to the rest of the body. Um, and so these are just the chambers of the left ventricle and the right ventricle. And then the, the atria are way up here. It's really hard to make out the great vessels coming off the top. So we won't uh, you almost just kind of have to put your finger in and see where you come out. So this would be the aorta here, and then the pulmonary trunk is going to kind of come at this angle through, through here. So that's it.